And then we've been working on other obedience training sessions as well as just general life hacks like learn how to chew on a dog bed on a, don't chew on a dog bed. Hey everybody, Ethan here with Clay. We're back for his next training video. What I want to do today is work on retrieving. If you watched the last video, it didn't go very well, and I said I will show you his next training session. Now, yes, a fair amount of time has actually passed, oh, a week, week and a half maybe, since we worked on any retrieving at all. I have the same accoutrements here. We're going to see how we can work through encouraging some tug, playing some fetch, same area. This is where we've been doing a majority of our training sessions, so he's familiar with it. And uh, we're gonna kind of see how it goes and how we can help him through this. Now, you say, well, what do you mean you haven't worked on retrieving in between now and then? Um, we've done a lot of other things. Socialization stuff. He rides on the car with me when I've gone on different hunting trips, gets out, gets to potty, gets back in the car. That experience is really good. And then we've been working on other obedience training sessions as well as just general life hacks like learn how to chew on a dog bed on a, don't chew on a dog bed, chew on a dog bone on a dog bed. And that just involves a little bit of here's a dog bone, take him to the bed. He gets off the bed, take him back to the bed. And then while he's focused chewing on the bone, he kind of learns that's the position of which I need to be. So lots of other puppy development based stuff not specifically working on retrieving until today. So I wanna start again with a bumper and we'll see how this goes. I'm gonna hide these out of the way. He says, I'm gonna find them instantly. Yeah, you want this? Okay, throw it over there, see what happens. That a boy. He says, not interested in that. I want to come get some love. Let's try this one. Okay. He's just not interested in that. Ready? Okay. Not interested in that. Let's throw another one here. We're getting more interest today. Okay. Good. There you go. Good. We found a winner, folks. We found a winner. Now we can play some tug with it. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Let's try again here. Okay, there you go. Spunk, that's a good boy. If we can't work on holding right off the bat, it's okay. We'll just tease, there you go. Get him pumped up about it. I was gonna try and save this for last, but you found it, I should have put it up. Clay, Clay. Hey, okay. So that's too close to the wall. Pick up one of them. That's fine with me. There you go. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Hey. Okay. There you go. That's a good pop. That's a good pop. Losing just a little bit of focus. Okay. Is that interesting to pick up? Just uh, pick one of these up. Okay. So what I've done here is evaluated a little bit. A, he's more focused, more excited this time. Most exciting item for him was this rope toy. So, okay. See if we can give one or two more. Good boy, good boy. And not one or two more like, I think, ah, oh, we've got to get another good one in here. Good, hey, okay. There you go. He just still seems pumped, excited to play a little bit. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I don't know if y'all saw that, but he did a puppy thing there. He was just kind of walking by and then thought, oh, I'll just bite this couch. Um, why? I don't know, because he's a puppy, folks. If your puppies are just randomly walking around biting stuff, that's because that's what puppies do. Okay. Now, you can see here, I'm trying to encourage some Teasing, right? Chase this down. This puppy specifically has a lot of pointing instinct. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Encouraging him to chase and grab and get pumped up isn't working quite as well as it does with other puppies. 
Um, so we just have to modify a little bit. That's really good. And if I can get him pumped for one more, I think this is where we're going to end it. There you go. 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 Good. Pop, 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 pop. Grab a hold of it. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There you go. Good. All right. So, what we've learned in this session, it's a short one. And a lot of our sessions are going to be shorter like this when we're developing young puppies, is that he likes that rope toy. We're gonna make it go away completely here. He likes that rope toy. Um, that was the best out of the collective. And that's what we're going to use going forward. The only time he's gonna see the rope toy is during a retrieving session. And we're gonna play with that and see if we can encourage and build on desire to do the specific task. Not desire to go grab it and run and lay over and chew on it. Not desire to um, only work for birds, even though we can incorporate that into retrieving down the road, because uh, it's going to be important. We're going to use the rope toy. It'll come out for retrieving sessions here. We'll do three to 10 reps, kind of like we did here. We may need to do less. We may need to try and move into more and we'll be able to evaluate as he progresses. But um, try different things. Try and build on what's working for your puppy. And ultimately you'll see You'll see results, folks. And if you don't, definitely reach out to us at patreon.com slash standingstonekennels where we can kind of help fill in the gaps, maybe throw some new ideas at you uh, and help you and your puppy develop the way that you're hoping. The guy with the pink gun, this is Clay. And we'll see you in the next video.